Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to stop at one of my local pawn shops and see if we can find any tool deals and just talk about some of the tools in general that you can find at a pawn shop. Also, we're going to hit up one of our local supply companies and see what they have. All right, guys, the first thing that I found was for $100, a 11-piece Cornwell Lime Green plier set. This set probably would have been a promo for 100 bucks. I might have been able to haggle and say, hey, guys, I'll give you $90 cash for it. They probably would have jumped on that deal, but I honestly have a lot of pliers at home, so I'm going to have to pass on this. But if I didn't have pliers, this is a pretty smoking deal. So it's interesting that, you know, you can find brand new items at the pawn shop. There is also some very well used items that nobody in their right mind would ever buy. But this here, this was a decent set and it was brand new. So next up is some snap on items. We got a metric impact swivel and shallow set for 369. And then we have an SAE set for 219. Now these are really hard for me to price because sometimes these promos with the buy one get one, the pawn shop doesn't get very right. Uh, it looks like they were really close to eBay pricing on these, um, but I gotta, I gotta pay tax on it. So I couldn't really tell. If you guys wanna comment be down below and tell me if this is a good deal, please do let me know. Here they had a half inch uh, dual 80 for 89 bucks. That, that seemed like a deal. Some wobble extensions for Snap-on. I already own a set super similar in gear wrench. So no matter if that was a deal or not, I completely had to pass on that. They had some shallow half inch SAE sockets, 167. I know that uh, Craftsman rail goes for like 25 or 20. I had to pass on that too. Now these are always a little sketchy to me when you see a bunch of brand new tools from the same store. These would have come from Advanced Auto just hanging out. Well, they do have something from Tractor Supply there, but man, it just kind of makes me feel a little sketchy. I wonder how those appeared here. We'll look at another uh, rack over here. More stuff brand new in package. Really good on my uh, open-ended wrenches, so I don't need any of these. Nothing really just caught my eye. Not that great of a price. Pretty comparable to if you would have picked it up brand new at the auto parts store, just I didn't get to use a coupon on it. Some cobalt stuff. Lots of uh, loose sockets. So, you know, if you guys need to pick up an old Craftsman USA or something like that, pawn shop's the way to go. But again, you got to look around. You got to know your pricing. You got to check your deals because... There's always another one out there. Let's head on over to Too Fast Supply and check out some of their brand new SK socket sets they have. This first set, guys, is a half inch SAE and metric shallow and deep socket set. This is a 47 piece set and comes in anywhere from around $358 on eBay to upwards of $480 to $500 from your SK authorized dealer. Now let's take a look at some of these sockets up close. You can see that it has a shallow brooch. It has great machining. The chrome on this is probably by far one of the best chrome finishes that I've seen on a socket. The detents, the stampings, they're all really nice. The markings are really nice and you can tell that this is just a well-made socket. Now, if you look at the inside, you can see that there is a different coating or color in there, and that's to help kind of to protect the chrome finish from when the socket is applied on the fastener, that there's a little friction so that the two don't slip and the chrome doesn't just finish, break the finish and start rusting right away. These are just an amazing USA made socket, and I just can't tell you Looking at them on video, it just doesn't do it justice compared to the stuff that's made in Taiwan or China or India. You just can't even compare it. These are on par and if not better than some of the Snap-on offerings and anything else that you guys can think of. This is just a great socket set. Now, if we look at the ratchet, this is probably the only one downfall. Well, it is easy to service. It's only a 60 tooth ratchet 
and in some fashions today that might be considered subpar but i can tell you that it's definitely a quality tool and here's a look at a little quarter inch 21 piece sae set this ranges in price to 105 to 115 on amazon to ebay having some very weird pricing at the moment at like two hundred dollars your authorized dealer will sell this for around $189 or $175. The ratchet on this is very similar to the half inch where it does suffer that lower tooth count, but everything on it functions well. It just works right out of the box. It's easy and it's serviceable. The sockets are very similar in the sense that they have the shallow brooch, they got great detents, great stampings, easy markings. It's just a set that will always work and is on par and in some senses better than Snap-on. Made in USA, just great quality on these. Can't speak highly enough of them. The one thing that I do like and a lot of other manufacturers are going to this is that on the quarter inch drive, it allows you to put a ratchet on the back. So another good set, I do like SK offerings. You just do have to pay a premium for it. And the final two things we're gonna look at is a 30 piece metric half inch drive impact socket set in shallow and deep. This runs in around the $250 range and the SAE set uh, runs you in the mid to low 200s as well. SK's got some good offerings. They're all made in the USA and they all have a lifetime warranty. You can either warranty that through your retailer or you can send that mail through direct to the factory and all of their representatives and customer services local to the US. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. If there is just some deal that you thought was a smoking deal and I passed it up or there was a price that was just too good to be true or outrageous, go ahead and comment down below. If you own any of these tools and can recommend them, go ahead and comment down below as well. If you'd like to see more of these videos, go ahead and comment down below as well. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and until next time guys, work smarter, not harder.